All right, Shay just sent me a couple of these little guys. These are glass door or display case locks. He did not have the keys for them, but it occurred to me I might um, be able to show you a technique I've really never talked about before. Normally these are very, very easy to get open because uh, they're wafer locks, there are no security pins, so usually you can rake them open. Now remember, this is a glass door. The surface represents the glass door, so I don't have a lot of room, but that doesn't worry, uh, worry us when we're using a rake. So just grab this guy. Usually you can slide him just back, basically back and forth. Sometimes you can bounce him up and down while you're moving back and forth, and that's kind of what I like to do. So I use moderate tension and just move him in and out while I'm bouncing him up and down, and eventually you'll get everything it'll open and you get through that glass door life isn't always so easy as i discovered when i played with this guy um, the big tip off here should be that yale name when you see a yale on it they know that they don't want it to be rakeable so they put in some pretty extreme bidding into these yales a rake usually will not work even if you take an extreme rake you know like even the enhanced bogota here it usually will not be quite enough. So how do we get it? Well, we got a single pin picket. Now here's where we start running into a problem. Remember that this is the, let me move this over so you can see what I'm talking about here. Remember this represents the glass door. So if I'm taking a very deep hook and I slide him in there, I can reach to the very back. Now most of us lever off of the bottom of that lock, use it as a fulcrum. So if I'm picking the rearmost, let's say it's five or six wafers, I got enough room. Not a lot of room, but I got enough. But when I start getting up in, so let's see if we can pick one while we're back here. Get in there. All right, so apply monitor tension. Just feel around, see if any of those in the back want to be picked. And there's one right there. Little click. I'm just looking for binders. Remember, there are no security pins. The problem is when I get up to the front, yeah, now suddenly there's not enough. The flex in the pick doesn't allow me to pick anything in the front. So here's what a lot of guys do. They take a coin, like a penny or a nickel, and they'll tape it to the front of the lock and then use the coin as their fulcrum point. I don't have a coin, and I, don't, I don't usually don't use one. I don't carry tape with me. So I just grab an object that's about the right height, and I'm just going to use this flashlight. So what we're going to do, I'm actually going to lever, I'm going to use him as my fulcrum to access those wafers up in the front that I couldn't get without a fulcrum. So let's try it. I'm just going to hold him up there with my thumb and just start. There he is right there. Two. I got felt a little turn on the core. Okay, there's one. A little bit of counter rotation tells me he's probably the one. So there we got an open on that guy. So what I'm trying to tell you is don't give up. Even when you find one of these Yales with that extreme bidding, another technique, let me lock this guy back up real quick, is to try to just simply hold the pick and then push up with your hand. The problem is that doesn't usually work very well for me. It doesn't give me the greatest of feedback. But when I put a fulcrum in there like that, that usually does. There you go, guys. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Shea, appreciate the locks.